Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm with Fleetistics, and we do GPS tracking and telematics. And today, what I wanted to do is follow up on a covert tracking video that we did. And this is the particular unit that we're looking at. You can see it fits in the palm of my hand. Uh, it's got a couple magnets on the back, so this thing can uh, be hidden on a vehicle. And what I wanted to talk about is how to place a, uh, a covert tracker on a vehicle to make sure that you get the best results. Uh, first and foremost, you need to do some testing. Uh, don't pay attention, it's just the UPS guy. So uh, you want to do some testing. Uh, vehicles are made in different ways. Uh, there's more plastic in certain areas. There's metal frames in different areas. So uh, doing some testing on your own vehicle will give you a really good idea of some of the challenges that you may run into when you are doing covert tracking. One of the things to take into consideration is how high the vehicle is. Because if you think about this being placed underneath the vehicle, the, the signals from the GPS satellites have to actually go underneath the vehicle to be received by the antenna in the device. So the angle of that signal reflection off the ground is impacted by the height of the vehicle. So the lower the vehicle, the, the harder the, uh, the scenario is going to be for the GPS unit to receive a signal underneath the vehicle. In this particular vehicle, uh, we can go down here and we can just simply stick this up underneath the rail. Now that's metal, which is going to block a GPS signal, but the signals will go underneath the vehicle and reflect around and actually get picked up to determine a location uh, on this tracking unit. I will, tell you, I will tell you that after having done this for 10 or 15 years, covert tracking uh, you know, 15 years ago was simply not going to get a GPS signal like that underneath your vehicle. But today, the GPS antennas are so much better that you can get a signal in a lot of different places. Uh, if we look up here on this particular vehicle, you know, we could look up underneath the tire, uh, which isn't a bad spot because you get good reception. The problem is the thing's coming off the road. So if you uh, took this truck off road or you picked up a tire and you threw it into the GPS unit, you could break the unit and then you know, obviously you're losing your covert tracking at that point, which is really the goal here. Uh, you can move around to the front. We've got a metal bumper here, but we've got enough room here that we could slip this device in here like this. And kind of tuck it back in and the casual observer would have no idea that that tractor is there. So by placing the tracking device in different locations on different vehicles, you can start to understand where it's going to work and where it's not going to work before you try to deploy the device in a covert tracking scenario. Uh, the last thing you want to do is put it in a place that kind of gets marginal reception and then all of a sudden you know you're out you're looking at the mobile app hey there we are there we are and then all of a sudden it disappears and now you've lost the the uh, the subject that you're trying to track covertly. On the back of this vehicle we've got lots of good options. Uh, you can see underneath here you can see the frame of the vehicle itself. We could very easily stick this in there and attach that to the frame of the vehicle. Something just like that. So uh, this is going to get a relatively good reception down here. We've actually test driven this particular vehicle with the GPS unit stuck to the frame on the inside of the truck. Now when it comes to actually adhering this to the vehicle, we've got a couple different options. Uh, these are two rare earth magnets. Uh, we used epoxy to adhere them to the uh, device itself. You can get some of the other uh, devices that are on the market. They got the little Pelican cases you can put the unit in. But this particular unit is rugged and uh, we can get this to you with a solar panel. So even though it may not be in direct sunlight, it's getting reflective light, which is going to help recharge these batteries and keep them going for a longer period of time. You obviously also have choices of simply putting, putting the tracking unit on top of the uh, a vehicle if you have a trailer you know nobody really goes on top of a trailer you could stick it up there it'd go on in just a couple seconds to be super simple you can also place it inside the vehicle if you have access inside the vehicle you can pull the panel down in the front stick it up underneath the dash potentially put it underneath the seat unzip the seat slip it in the seat as long as you couldn't feel it when you're sitting on it that would work as well so um, Again, the important part about the whole thing with covert tracking is to test it on different vehicles and then get, a, get that feel before you actually go out and try to deploy it in a real world application. So if we can help you with that, we'd love to uh, talk to you about it. Give Fleetistics a call 
Uh, we'll put the number on the screen or you can go to 4agps.com. It's nice and simple. It's 4agps.com and we'll also post a link in there. Uh, give us a like down below and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.